Good morning. It's Claude Boyne's Bees. You see it's a beautiful day. It's it's uh, February 24th. It's 61 degrees. And you see I'm out here in the morning this morning, so the light's coming from a different direction. I just I'm, I missed Thursday because I was doing a project and yesterday because it was raining and cloudy. I don't know. Try to see the bees. Bees are really flying today. And uh, see some pollen there. I guess you can see some pollen there. But I'm going to go in. I'm going to be looking for queen cells. I definitely want to see eggs or the queen or both. <clears throat> Since I did the last inspection, I did add a super, shallow super. So it had three partially drawn frames of comb and the rest were just foundationless. We're gonna see what they did with that. Yeah, I did add some sugar. We had some cool rainy days right after the last inspection. So we'll see what they're doing with that too. All right, nothing up on top. I'm gonna put this in a different place today so I'm not stepping all over it. Oh yeah, the bees are up working the sugar. <clears throat> I don't know how much longer I'm gonna need that. I'm not doing much on the pollen patty either. I don't see any hive beetle larva there. Might still be a little too cool for it. <clears throat> yeah, the smoke's already giving me a pain here. The smoker's working good. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm gonna set them up in front just in case they want to find their way back this little pan I don't normally do the sugar this way but there are a lot of little chunks that were left from the solid cakes I made like that I put them in the pan looks like they've leveled it all out but I don't know if they're eating it might just be hauling it out the front we still have a few I mean we can have freezes up into middle of March. So I don't want to be too hasty about taking that off. Besides I can use the sugar for sugar syrup if they don't eat it all. Now that's pretty. Y'all see that? I can't tell. Yep, there we go. That might have been one of the ones that was that I'd left in there. Yep, see there's one with that's already drawn out. That was already drawn out with drone cells but you know up here it doesn't matter they'll put they'll put honey in it no matter what size it is they haven't put in, started putting anything up here yet i'm gonna shake this sugar off so they don't have to deal with it okay so nothing going on there really
I am going to take this feeder out this week too. Go ahead and do that so I don't forget. beetles there. This one was the one that was on the in the bottom box last week. They're drawing drone size sales, so I didn't want the queen to lay up more drones. So moved it up here thinking maybe they'll put some nectar in it. Oh, they're festooning on the bottom of that one. They aren't doing anything, aren't drawing anything. That plastic frame. festooning there but there's not much left in there that's a good one to move down the bottom with the queen shake off some of those bees there's a little nectar in there but they can move that let's see what they do if I move that down I'm just really worried about her getting the swarming urge. Yeah, see that frame is almost all drawn size cells. That's all drawn cells there and there, all the way over here. Keep forgetting, I gotta get where y'all can see it. These are all drawn size. There's a little worker size up here on top. But like I said, I don't see, and I don't see any eggs in it, which is, I guess, good. Yeah, and here's another one with worker size sales. Move that down to the bottom too. If I find some, I can move up. And I just don't want the queen to start feeling crowded. Yeah, see, this is one that's. See, this drone size here and over here. That side's almost all worker size sales, though. All right. They did draw out some new wax there. Let's see what I can get down here. See, yep, you can see. Well, I got bees in every seam all the way over, plus some on the outside. So that's, I think I'll move some, if I can find some with some
cells with some eggs or larvae and move a couple up to the top. I'll go ahead and set this up. Yep. Hey girls. this one usually she's not on the outside but you never know when it's so packed yeah there's a little bit of drone comb there cap drone cells a little bit of worker cells capped Oh yeah, boy, it's good sunshine today. I see. Well, turn around this way so the sun comes in it better. Oh yeah, there are eggs all over that. Not so much up at the top. Let me see the other side. There are eggs all in here. That's all worker cells. They're not quite standing straight up, so they're a day or so old. They're not laying all the way down yet, so they're not too far gone. I may not leave this one, but I'm going to put this one over here just to keep them out of the breeze. <clears throat> Smoke them a little bit. I don't like smoking a lot. on the side or a bunch of these hanging on the side here bunch of eggs in here and again not so much at the top yeah that's all full of eggs I want to move some up, but I don't want to move just eggs and young brood. I'd like to find a frame that's got a lot of capped brood on it. Move that up. Cap brood doesn't need as much attention. Oh, just got me.
tender spot in the middle of my thumb. Bunch of drones in here. There must be some fruit under no, up there. There's nectar under there. Bunch of drones. Oh, there's a queen. I get these girls up here. See you right there. I can't even tell if right there's the queen. Well, there's one, actually two questions answered. Saw a bunch of eggs. Saw the queen. What I'd like to do is I may end up having to move some egg frame with eggs, but I want some with some larva. And that'll pull some of these. Having all these beads in here is one of the things that stimulates the queen to or the hive to want to swarm. And if I move some brood up, the worker bees and nurse bees with it will follow and relieve some of the crowding here in the lower box. Okay. See, there's some capped worker brood. Oh, there's very young larva there. Oh, there we go. There's nectar in a lot of this. Hey, hey girly. has so much nectar. I think I'm going to move it over to the outside. Come on, girl. Are you on the outside or the inside? Outside. Let's get some of these down in here. Don't worry about using smoke so much now that I've seen the queen. A lot of times I could be in smoke too much, I never see the queen. Notice she was not marked. She's still, the, I had a few, I caught a swarm last year that was very weak and didn't make it. They wanted to keep requeening. So they just ran out of bees and I wasn't going to give a hive that was doomed to be weak a frame out of here because I wanted them to build up. They were a package last year. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. See that's all, all that's capped worker brood. And down at the bottom here looks something looks suspicious. some downturned cells. No, nothing going on yet. I'm really just waiting for it to get warm enough. I'm gonna do a split so I can have a backup queen, hopefully. Okay. No 
Okay, cap drone cells there. And you know, I have seen them throwing out some drones. I don't know if they're damaged during the cold, the pupa. So I don't know if they were damaged during the cold or they just have so many drones in here. Maybe they're not wanting to support them. But to be honest with you, I don't mind sending this queen's genetics out to the population because she is really good, really calm bees. And like I said, I got a swarm last year with an unmarked queen, so I'm pretty sure it's a feral hive. I wouldn't mind getting some of her, this girl's genetics into the feral population. All right. I don't know if you can see them. See that wiggly? Boy, this is hard. That wiggly bunch of bees on the bottom, that's called festooning. When they're well fed and nectar's coming in and temperature's right, they'll hang off each other. It helps them produce the little wax cells that come out that they actually make wax out of. All right, good. This is a has lots of you know there's some capped see the capped workers but in this area right here there's a good bit of really a pretty old larva like they're close to being capped so I'm gonna put these up here now to get us some bees up here What I'm doing is I'm putting those frames right in the middle of the upper box. Then I'll have, I'll push all of these together and put, put these with the, well, one of them with the cells. One of them I'm put in here that has some good empty cells for the queen to lay in. <clears throat> okay, three more frames, girls. Lots of drones. Come on, girls. Yeah, lots of worker, capped workers. I'm looking around the bottom to make sure there aren't any queen cells started. I don't see any. This side has about the same number of capped worker cells as the other side. Oh, I've got a, one of the girls singing to me up here on my suspender. And I think I'm gonna hit them one more time with some smoke. Maybe. Let it sit too long, didn't I? Excuse me just a minute. I'm lighting my smoke. Oh, yeah, there's enough heat in there. Got a little bit going here. Yep, maybe. Uh, sorry about this. 
this. Normally I wouldn't go any further because I've already seen everything, but I do want to check for queen cells and this is the plastic frame coming up and there are more bees on it than I've seen. Well, it doesn't look like they've drawn out any more, but they're using that. Well, they got Okay, they have nectar in that. You have to put nectar in it. I'm gonna move this up too. Two more girls. And like I said before, these girls really are calm. Now I get stung, but it's because of my clumsiness most of the time. Oh, girl. Still has some drawn cells there. Can't tell if there are any eggs in it. Try to get around here, Ryan. Oh, <laughs> if you don't see that, it's a drone. That dark cell, that dark comb is too hard to see in. I don't know if this is going to be bright enough to, if it's already so bright out here. Girls, we're on the last one. See what y'all were doing over here.
Okay, I think I'm gonna leave these last two where they are. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We're supposed to be kind of warm for the next three or four days. I mean, warm during the day, we're still getting closer to being routinely in the 40s. Like we've got three or four days in the 40s and then then some lows in the couple of days of lows in the 20s. this one in because the queen was on this one so this is an empty frame ready to lay I'll be right next to her This one has some drone size cells on it, but has a lot of a lot of worker size cells. And I'm really afraid of hurting the bees. All right, Put them in there. Yeah, there's a good area of worker size here. Now I can put it, in, after shaking them off, there it's not crowded, so I can put it in without hurting bees on either side. Okay, push them all together tight. Now I'm gonna have to get another frame. off the edge. So what I did is I put those three frames that have brood right here in the middle and it's right above the brood that's on the bottom. So that should help. They'll get some warmth coming up.
speed back on. Oh, turn it on, won't be able to get that other one in there. I do still have a popsicle stick. Oh, y'all can't see, can you? I do still have a popsicle stick here to help with ventilation. This gives a tiny little place for air to flow out. Yes, we're putting this on. That's it for this week. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate all the likes. Had no idea. I was going to get this many followers. I do appreciate y'all. See you next time.